America first fell in love with Scarlett Johansson when she was only 19, starring in Lost in Translation. Don't forget Ghost World. I remember renting that at Blockbuster. Since then, she's played everything from superheroes to sexy robots. And last year, she became a two-time Oscar nominee. So how the hell did this A-list actress end up with Saturday Night Live's Colin Jost? We'll walk you through Scar Jost's love story. This is hooked up to Hitched. You should trademark that. Scar Jost. Colin says they met when Scarlett hosted SNL for the first time back in 2006, but embarrassing, ScarJo says she doesn't remember meeting her future husband until her third time hosting the show. She told The Hollywood Reporter, quote, it was some dumb parody that he had written and he was in there partly directing this segment we had to do. That's my first memory of him. He seemed very confident at the time. Confident, that's code for nice arms. You know what they say, you should really make a guy wait until the third time you host SNL to put out. Scarlett and Ariana Grande. <laughs> True. <laughs> and while uh, my super sweet 16 and pregnant sketch would make anyone weak in the knees, Johansson was going through a divorce with her ex, Ryan Reynolds, at the time. So a geeky comedy writer was probably the last thing on her mind. Over the next few years, ScarJo got married again to French journalist Romaine Dariac, with whom she has a daughter, Rose while Jost seriously dated Parks and Rec star Rashida Jones. I love Rashida. Did you know she ended up with Ezra Koenig from my favorite band, Vampire Weekend? Ryan, focus, let's stay on track here. Sorry, daddy forgot his Adderall. By 2017, both Scarlett and Colette's relationships had ended, setting the stage perfectly for our two lovebirds to drunkenly make out at an SNL after party. No surprise there, Johansson looked hot and a little evil as Ivanka Trump in the cold open of the season finale. So where's my next ornament? I'm right here, father. Oh, Later that night, multiple sources spotted Scarlett and Colin canoodling at the cast party. Page Six reported that they made out at least twice during the after party and then casually hung out and spoke with other people. So my favorite part, Brian, of that whole story is the fact that a source said, you know, they really seem to hit it off. Yeah, you think when they have their tongues down each other's throats. Yeah, their tongues were getting to know each other. Their tonsils were, you know, having small talk. <laughs> <laughs> the couple proved their rather public hookup was more than a one-time thing. They were spotted out on a date in Manhattan's Upper East Side in June of that year, and then again out in East Hampton, New York. Two months later on the red carpet for the 69th Primetime Emmy Awards, Joe's told reporters that Johansson was the one for him. Eileen, thoughts on your boyfriend calling you pretty cool and pretty awesome? I don't know, pretty cool sounds like meh. I could take her or leave her. I mean, and he's a writer, right? Come on, Colin, you can come up with better words than that. Yeah, grab a thesaurus. <laughs> Google that shit. In April 2018, Jost walked the red carpet with Johansson for her premiere of Avengers Infinity War. And earlier that same day, Scarlett had confirmed to Ellen who her favorite Weekend Update host was. Who's your favorite? Do you like uh, Colin or do you like Michael? Um, <laughs> it's hard to pick. Really, is it? Um, no, it's not that hard yeah. to pick. <laughs> Colin I is... Guess I'm a, I guess I'm a Colin fan, I'd have to say. Cute. And then Ellen threw a glass of wine in her face and said, I'm the queen of nice. Fake news, Ryan. But you know what? I really wouldn't put it past her. The couple seemed deeply but quietly in love for two years and in May of 2019 announced they were engaged. By June of that year, Scarlett was seen wearing her new 11 karat engagement ring estimated to be worth $450,000. Damn, that ring would have made even Thanos jealous. In July 2019, Page Six reported that Jost acknowledged his future wedding during a stand-up set in the Hamptons, where he also sported his own engagement ring on his right hand. Gotta love a male feminist. As for the proposal, Scarlett told Ellen that her man, quote, killed it. Did he do it in a romantic way? You don't have to say exactly what, but he did. Can. He killed it. Yeah. He, was very, he did like a whole James Bond situation. He was, he was very, yeah. The couple is pretty private, so we can only assume that a James Bond proposal involves some sort of car ejector seat. Scarjo hosted SNL for the sixth time at the end of 2019 and shared an on-screen kiss with her future husband. 
I just want to say that this place means so much to me. I have so many friends here, and I met the love of my life here. Oh. Very Obviously, by 2020, COVID complications put the brakes on thousands of weddings worldwide. But in October of this year, the couple finally said, I do, after dating for more than three years. The couple were married in an intimate secret ceremony with just close relatives and friends. Even the couple's save the dates were super personal and handwritten on index cards with a note at the bottom saying, quote, we're trying to save money for the wedding. Oh yeah, those two are just so poor, it's so sad. <laughs> on top of that, ScarJo's donated their news-breaking wedding announcement to Meals on Wheels, a charity that helps older and at-risk individuals during the pandemic. So there you have it, literally from an after-party hookup to getting hitched. All right, so let's break it down. Why do Scarlett and Colin work? You know what? I'm rooting for these two. I think third time's the charm for Scarlett Johansson. This is her third marriage, and in the world of comedy, there's the rule of threes that things are funny when they do three times in a row. And so maybe this is just like the funny joy that she needed in her life. And Colin is literally a comedian. I think it's gonna work out for them. I love your optimism, Brian, I really do. And you know, I, I also like to cheer people on and like, this is Hollywood, come on, we gotta be realistic. Most of these couples don't end up working out. <laughs> well, I think they look great together and I'm rooting for them as well. Let's put that out there. But? but the rule of threes, so statistically, and this is just facts, when you've been divorced, with every divorce, you're more likely to end up getting a divorce again. So yeah. the fact that she's already got two under her belt, it's like the odds are kind of stacked up against her, so they might not make it out for the long haul, but hey, in the meantime, she's gonna get a lot of laughs out of it, that's for sure. Maybe she's like an Elizabeth Taylor, you know? She just has so much love to give and she wants to have as many spouses as she can in her lifetime. You know, Scarlett herself has said in interviews that she doesn't believe that monogamy comes naturally to human beings. So that right there tells me that, I mean, it doesn't say though that she doesn't think that she could be monogamous because she clarified her comment. She said, I want to be in a monogamous relationship. I just don't believe it comes naturally to human beings. So. I mean, that just goes to show that maybe it's something that she might internally struggle with a little bit. And I mean, we all do, I guess, to a certain extent, have temptation. Um, but yeah, like I said, she's been divorced already before. I mean, we'll see. Hopefully it does work out. That said, Colin is, you know, a, a classic New Yorker. She's a classic New Yorker. He's from Staten Island, one of the boroughs, the forgotten borough. You know, she grew up in New York City. She loves the Yankees, he loves the Mets. Like they're kind of a classic New York couple. And I think that actually could work for, for you know. There you them. go, they, they don't even like the same baseball team. <laughs> I have to admit though, Colin does make kind of a hot stepdad. He's got that kind of dilfy, you know, all in the arms type t-shirt thing going on. Great hair, great teeth. You know, maybe he's just like the trophy husband she's been looking for this whole time trophy husband. Scarlett's a trophy in and of herself. She's gorgeous. But yeah, I definitely won't deny the fact that Colin is uh, really attractive. We've all seen those hot photos of him at the Hamptons, shirtless at the beach. I know I did. I think I might have written a couple of stories about that. Uh, maybe taking some extra time writing those stories. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, they, they're great. I mean, if they make babies together, amazing. I'm sure they'll be beautiful. So I wish them all the best, but we'll see. It's Hollywood, people. It's showbiz, baby. You never know what's gonna happen. Well, whichever side you're on, you gotta give Colin props for having the balls to date someone after Ryan Reynolds, right? Damn. I mean, Damn. <laughs> he must be a really good kisser, right? Because he locked it in after that makeout session, so. Ooh, those lips. Um, <laughs> But which couple do you guys out there want to see go from hooked up aw, to hitch next? Let us know in the comments. Bye, Eileen. Good talking. Bye, Brian.